Hey guys, welcome back to the EV Legacy Challenge. I hope you enjoyed that little wedding machinima. It went pretty well, in my opinion. They had a, a cute little forest wedding. So now, after sort of starting to decorate one of the spare bedrooms in a very Glaceon themed color scheme, <laughs> Brooklyn and Ivy are planning to try artificial insemination. They want to both be pregnant at the same time. Um, so we're gonna say Ivy is totally on board. They're both asking each other. I don't know, I just... So the thing is, I had this mod. It's the relationship and pregnancy overhaul mod. And I wanted to use that to get Ivy and her future partner pregnant someday. Um, and then The Sims added in that uh, science baby feature. So like I had already planned to use this mod before that was a thing. So I still want to use the mod because you can actually pick your donor. And I was thinking, well, I've been thinking since the beginning, Nico could be the donor for Ivy and then Mark could be the donor for Brooklyn because those two dudes are Ivy's oldest friends and I just feel like they would be happy to help them out. They don't have any kids of their own. I don't think they're interested in having kids. Um, so yeah, we're gonna use them as donors. Um, let me see how I do this. I don't know if I have to go in the computer. I know I've done it one time before in Not So Berry, but that was a long time ago. Attempt artificial insemination. Okay, so it actually costs money. They're rich, so it doesn't really matter. We're gonna use the highest chance of success. I guess it's possible they could not get pregnant. Look through portraits and pick, yes. There he is. Okay, so she's gonna go ahead and do that. And we'll have Brooklyn do it after because I'm thinking like if they both go into labor at the exact same time, I don't know what's gonna happen. <laughs> I don't think I've ever had two Sims in the same household pregnant. I wonder if the babies of the plant Sims are plant Sims too. Probably not, but yeah, she is heading off to the hospital to get her procedure done. And then once she gets back, we'll send Brooklyn to do hers with Mark's sample. <laughs> oh, hey, Marisol's here. Oh, if you guys um, noticed, Marisol was the sim of honor on Brooklyn's side in the wedding, because I figured maybe Marisol could be her closest friend. Let's invite her in. Also update on Brooklyn's job. She was promoted to level two and it looks like she is pretty much ready to get promoted in her next day of work as well. Here's how the walls are looking now that we have these adorable wedding photos. Then we have these pictures in the bookshelf. All right, so Ivy is back. So what was the result? Will I be pregnant? Oh, do we have to wait or do we take a pregnancy test right away? I forgot how this mod works. <laughs> I also finished um, this bathroom. It's kind of like a mint green theme. And yeah, so this is obviously a Glaceon themed room. I put two bassinets since we're having at least two babies. I mean, it'd be cool, if, cool but also scary if one of them had twins or both of them had twins. The wallpaper is penguins because obviously they live in like the North Pole, Antarctica, etc. <laughs> Okay, we can take the pregnancy test right away, so I'm gonna go ahead and do that. And once Ivy's pregnant, we will send Brooklyn. Gotta make sure this succeeds first, though. <gasps> Yay! Oh my god, yes! <gasps> She's prego and instantly about to puke. I'm gonna have her go take a shower, and we will send Brooklyn off, who is over here um, killing Marisol's poor eardrums with her violin. We're going for the expensive one again, because that seemed to work out well and mark all right so she's gonna head off to the clinic as well so ivy is like super excited to be pregnant and she really wants to tell marisol right away because she's just so excited like she's trying really hard to keep it in but she wants um brooklyn to be the first one to know so she's not gonna tell her and it's kind of funny um She's closer to Marisol than Brooklyn is, even though she was like Brooklyn's maid of honor. But Brooklyn is socially awkward, so she hasn't had many um, close friendships yet. Let me give Leafeon a bath. So actually in this part, we will be completing the Leafeon generation. Um, we're still gonna be like on Leafeon basically, I guess. 
until we get an heir and the heir becomes, I don't know what age, maybe a teen, at least a child, right? Because like we can't really call it Glaceon generation yet until we know who the heir is and I usually don't pick until probably they're at least a child. All right, Brooklyn, let's see if your insemination worked. Yay, they're both prego. I'm gonna do the cutest photo shoots with them with their pregnant bellies when they get further along. Oh my God, yay, and she's so exhausted. Um, let's have them tell each other. I want them to do it in this little baby room. They already like started getting stuff ready for the babies that they plan to have. How sweet are they? We will be officially finishing her generation today because all she has to do is level up in herbalism and she's like super super close she's level nine um i think if i had to have her do one more herbal remedy we'll be done so that's very exciting we are going to share the big news and brooklyn's tummy is huge already <gasps> dude i think she has twins in there oh my god i'm scared <laughs> Yay! Okay, and she's like, I'm pregnant too. <laughs> this is so cute. Look how happy they are. Oh my god. Uh, what else can we do? Ask about pregnancy. I don't know. Hopefully, that's not like a negative thing. I don't think so. Hopefully, she's not like, How'd you get pregnant? <laughs> I think the mod is smart enough to know that they. Okay, nice of you to ask. Oh, oh, okay, it's just so you find out the information about the pregnancy, like first trimester, she's happy, etc. We are enthusing about the pregnancies. They're talking about baby room decorations. What else? I love this mod so much, it's so cute. All right, well, they are super excited and happy. Um, I like how Marisol is just kind of chilling. Um, yeah, I am gonna let them go to bed because they are exhausted. Brooklyn is anyway, because she worked a full day. Oh, did you guys see? I don't know if it was shown in the wedding um, machinima, but their wedding topper was cow plants. There it is. How cute. Speaking of two cow plants. Ooh, Mill Tank, our newest cow plant who's finally sprouted is hungry so i'm gonna have ivy come feed her i think the greenhouse looks a lot better now i decided to just use only these dirt plots instead of like mixing and matching two different types of blenders and then we have the flower arranging table here for brooklyn which i actually had her make some wedding bouquets because i kind of forgot those were a thing but then i forgot to use them <laughs> during the wedding so we didn't get to see that but Maybe I'll do that someday. I guess you can actually throw them, which is so cool. Um, as much as I want her to tend the garden, I'm not gonna let her because I need Brooklyn to do that for her job. So I'll just have her evolve everything that she can because Brooklyn's not on that level where she can evolve stuff, I don't think. I also don't think she can fertilize yet. So maybe we could do that. All right, she is finally done gardening. And now that it's 2 a.m. Did you guys notice how Leafeon was like sleeping at Ivy's feet during the wedding? It was so cute. Maybe rude, but also very cute. Aw, it's love day. Wait. <gasps> Since when does Sims just sit cross-legged on the bed and eat? It's like she didn't want to be away from Ivy. <laughs> that is adorable. Feeling a bit clingy now that you're prego, Brooklyn. <laughs> Ew, it went rotten. Stop eating it. Oh no. That's literally from their camping trip. <laughs> it's a mushroom steak. Hopefully that doesn't make her puke. She's craving rich food. She has morning sickness. She actually doesn't have work today, so that is perfect. These two can enjoy their love day together. We have cow plants to feed. We have a garden to tend to. This is the biggest garden ever. <laughs> it's like a full-time job for Ivy to take care of this. Um, so it's kind of nice that her spouse also likes gardening because it's a lot more manageable with both of them. 
I love how Ivy can fill her need for sunlight just by taking um, Leafy on on her daily walks. Uh. So for her job, she had to harvest harvestables. Very easy to accomplish that. And now she's level four of gardening. Nice. Like how she's doing that in her pajamas. I saw on the news that a cat won the lottery. Can you believe something so ridiculous? No, Nico, I really can't. <laughs> Oh, my girl needs some water. Oh, she's not gonna die, right? Complain about being thirsty. Ah, that's the one thing. If she's in the direct sunlight too long, she does get very, very thirsty. She made it, she's safe. I should give them cute maternity outfits together. I think in the next part, we'll do a baby shower. Um, can't you do a baby shower now, like in game, or do you need the family pack for that? Either way, if I can't do one, like organically in game i'll just make one like i have in the past i'll make like a fake a fake one so ivy why don't you actually finish off your generation by making tummy therapy might be nice since you guys are gonna be pregnant and well i don't know if i'd be risking taking random herbs while pregnant but i mean she's level nine of herbalism so it should be a good quality concoction at least but she's gonna make this um for their morning sickness that they're both probably experiencing do we have to do like one more okay we'll do one more rage relieving salve in case someone has a mood swing look how close she is though i think this will get her there if not then like one more should be enough oh my god <laughs> what was with that glitch okay the herbalism skill is so weird we got an achievement nature's course have a sim reach max herbalism skill we got green thumb have a sim Ma she already maxed gardening a long time ago that was a delayed um thing we just got okay yay i think i should read over the rules of leafy on gen just to be 100 percent sure we completed everything so we did the freelance botanist aspiration actually let me show you everything as we go along yep so we finished that master the gardening skill and herbalism skill which we just did there's gardening there's herbalism find the hermit's house which we did and have at least 20 different plants inside and outside the house i don't think it means you need 20 inside and 20 outside i think it just means like in general 20 in and out and we probably have 20 inside anyways <laughs> let's let's count just to be sure one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve thirteen fourteen fifteen sixteen seventeen eighteen nineteen twenty yeah we're already we're already above 20 and i haven't even finished all of them okay so even if it means 20 inside and 20 outside we've still done that so we've officially finished leafy on gen that is very exciting. We finished it so early on too. Aww. Mill tank and her BFF Mixie. I wish they could interact with each other. How cute would that be? Oh my God, looks like Marisol fell in love with someone in Paris. Don't know if it's a guy or girl, but good for her. Oh my God. <laughs> Brooklyn just autonomously started making a tortilla wrapped veggie dog. That is a an interesting um, combination and I feel like that's perfect for a weird pregnancy craving because I heard women can get like the weirdest cravings when they're pregnant so I'm gonna let her make that thing I like how she's choosing to make vegetarian stuff still even though she's technically not a vegetarian I think she just eats largely plant-based but like still eats meat sometimes just not like huge quantities of it or anything yeah i'm not gonna lie this this does not look too appetizing but if that's what you're craving go for it girl at least it's semi-healthy well i don't know are you supposed to eat soy when you're pregnant i wouldn't know <laughs> i do want to have them go out on a date because why wouldn't we but first let's give them let's exchange oh my god marisol is such our third wheel <laughs> but apparently she found someone Let's see, it doesn't say that's her spouse. A lot of times it'll say that they went on a date and they're in love, but then like they don't actually have a relationship when I go in and check. <laughs> so let me see if I can find this person. Oh, it was this dude. Is he an old man? Ew. Girl, Marisol, really? <laughs> 
maybe she's finding herself a sugar daddy that's what it is it's strictly business that's why she has no romance bar um no offense we love you girl we love you but it is love day and we're trying to have our own special day so yeah i'm obsessed with this picture they are so pretty okay anyways focus uh give a romantic gift we have so many flowers in the garden that i get to pick more than just the standard like bluebell daisy and rose that you can get on the phone so we're gonna give um a dahlia to brooklyn i feel like that would maybe be her favorite I feel like she why does it look so flat ew okay well at least she liked it <laughs> And I think, let's see, she has like all the crops because she just harvested everything. A death flower, just kidding. <laughs> I wanna give her a snowdrop because she's probably carrying the Glaceon Air, which is a nice type. So I just feel like that is perfect. I will be choosing, um, I think I'm like 99% sure I'll be choosing Ivy's baby. Why does it just look like a rose? Oh, I think that was the, um, the automatic gift that gets given. Yeah. Every day we share together, we're creating our own fairy tale. I look forward to our happily ever after. Aww. All right, we'll try that again. So give her a snowdrop in honor of the next generation beginning. Though we're gonna be in like a kind of a holdover period until the heir gets to like at least the age of a child. Uh, that's kind of a sad looking flower to be honest at least she liked it too all right i wonder if this will count as a date if i have them go go out like this i don't know let's go for a walk i don't know i don't think i've ever tried that part of them on. we'll see if it counts as a date on love day and what did ivy's card say i love the joy that you bring to my life every waking moment of every day cute Okay, so I think they're gonna go off into a rabbit hole, which is cool because I kind of need to wrap this part up pretty soon here And that'll make it quicker. Let's pretend they went on a romantic date to like a botanical garden I'm pretty sure I have another mod where you can go to a rabbit hole dates and you can choose like very specific Options, okay, so I don't think it worked, but I'm gonna Check this off for them because they did go on a date. We know they did and they're gonna finish off their love day with some woohoo of course <laughs> And yeah, I'm gonna wrap the part up right here. In the next episode, we should be having some sort of baby shower and I'm assuming giving birth to the babies. The next few episodes are probably gonna be like a lot of time jumping because we are done with Leafy on Jen and I wanna move on to Glaceon as soon as possible. So once the heir is born, we're gonna have to kind of play like maybe one or two episodes per life stage until it becomes like a child or a teen so we can actually start working towards the glaceon um generation goals and all that so like it'll be a newborn and infant in probably one episode and then it'll age up to a toddler that'll probably be like one episode maybe two then it'll be a child for like maybe two episodes you know what i mean because i want to kind of like skip along a bit for the question of the day leave your predictions down below on how many babies each one of these two is having, the genders, all of that. I would take name suggestions, but I'm like mass recording a bunch of videos this week, so I won't be seeing your comments before they have them. So if you want to leave some, I might use them for future like pets, like the puppies. Now that these guys are pregnant, I will be getting Leafy on a mate pretty soon. So any snow, ice themed type names, white, like the color white themed names, or even like bluish because this is a picture of Glaceon if you don't watch Pokemon. It's like an ice type, so kind of snow themed names if you feel like leaving those below. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed and if you did, please leave a like, comment, subscribe, share the video, and follow me on all my social media. I hope you guys have an amazing day and I hope we'll see you next time. Bye!